Today we are going to create a PDF uploader using the no-code tool bubble.io. Why would you want to do this? If you want to do anything with the PDF, interface it with ChatGPT or GPT-4, you need to first upload the PDF onto the cloud and somehow get it into OpenAI's system. So in this first video, we will simply build the PDF uploader that accomplishes that very first task of uploading a PDF into the public cloud. The second video, we will show you how to set up an API to handle all of the code that can convert that PDF into text. And in the third video, we will then begin interfacing that text with OpenAI, where you can summarize it and do different things and manipulate it. What I'm going to do is provide a step-by-step -step instructional video here. I'm going to give you all the code for steps two and three with more details in those videos. This first one is going to be very quick, but it actually took me a day or two to figure out how to do this. It wasn't a simple thing that you can just simply go and do in Bubble, even though it's a low code slash no code tool. So I'm going to make this video to show you how to do it. Now, first I'll show you what it actually looks like. like this is very simple. It's a simple place where you can just upload a PDF from your computer and you'll notice there's a link here in the drop down. And this is the link that then gets passed on into our API that we'll create next in the second video. That's really it. That's all we're doing. We're just building that. But in Bubble.io, for those who haven't used it, you just simply make your account. It's free. Don't start any free, don't start any paid trials. I'm just going to go in here. You'll make your account and then create your app and name it something. I'm just going to name it some nonsense. PDF 2023, name it whatever you want. I'll be deleting this after creating it. You'll give it a moment. And then I'm going to highlight the four steps that we're going to be doing here. Number one, we're creating a field type in the database as the list of files. Number two, we create a custom state with lists enabled. Number three, we create a workflow for uploading the PDF. And number four, we create a workflow for displaying the PDF link. Now you can skip all of this assistance stuff click got it. You don't need to pay any money. You don't need to do any trials. We're just going to breeze through this and it's going to be really simple. If you don't want to watch the video, you can go to the description, get the step-by-step -step guide. It's also there. So first of all, you'll need to create this field type in the database. You'll click on this database, this data tab, and you'll be presented with this screen. We're going to create a new type and it's going to be simply called file list. I'm going to call it one word. I'm going to zoom in here in a little bit, make that easier to see. And then we leave it public so that the second API will easily be able to access this, create it. And then on the right hand side, you'll click on this button. You'll scroll down to say, create a new field. And this needs to be named, I'm just going to name it uh, EF because this will be for, this will be for the PDFs that we're uploading. And then the field type, you need to click on file, check the box to make it a list, click create. Now we have what we need. We can go back to the design tab and we need to create a custom state. This is a piece of the dynamic web page that changes as a user uploads the PDF. So it's dynamic. Now you just simply click, double click on the white space in the middle and this index box comes up. You click on the I and we want to add a new custom state. So in this state name, I'm just going to go file list underscore state. The state type will be file and the state is a list. Create it, done. X out, X out. Now what we need to do is create the file uploader element. It will be looking like a button on this design tab. We scroll down into this input form section and check out the file uploader, click it once. And then in the white space, click once to bring that bit, to bring that button in there. It opened really small, but it was there. Here's our uploader. Now I'm going to rename this. You double click on this white and then you can type to rename it. I'm going to name it PDF underscore uploader. And that will be everything. We don't need to do anything else, but you can X that off. Now to create a workflow, what is it this button going to do? Right click that button and click on start slash edit workflow. 
This will take you to the workflow tab and select this gray box. What you need to do is double click the gray so that this, bo this box comes up and it will say PDF uploader's value is changed when, only when you click that. Then there will be five clicks here. First click on, move it over a bit. You will click only when, click. You will then say this file uploader first. Second, click on value. Third, click on file name. Fourth, click contains. And then fifth, you just type in the phrase dot PDF. So period PDF, push enter. This is only going to work when we're uploading a PDF. It's only going to allow you to upload a PDF file. We want to give this very explicit instructions. So then you X off this and click on, click here to create an action. What you want to do next is type in the word state and then click on set state of an element. This box comes up for the element. You'll click on this index, custom state, file is state. That is the one that we created earlier. Now, the value, you don't do anything with value. You come down here and say only when. Value will be indexes, so type in index. File list state is the second item. The third, you will say plus item. So you can type, you can just scroll down and click on plus item. Then it will be this file uploader's value. The value, you will click on this button. You will click on scroll here and click on index. You will click file list state. Scroll down and find plus item. Then you click this upl file uploader value. And that's all you do for this. You will then X out. Click on, click here to add an action. And you can just type in the word reset and you want to click on reset relevant inputs. Only one click. You don't have to do anything there, just exit out. And that's all you do. So all of that, we then just come back to the design tab. Now you want to have a drop down button so that you can select which PDF you've uploaded. You'll then click on drop down from the input form again, similar to the, when we made the other button. Click it to bring it in, and for some reason, it's showing up very small. When it, you do it, it probably won't look so small. So there, I was able to make it bigger. So this will be the drop down. I'm just going to leave it called drop down A. Now you then leave all this except for choice style. You want dynamic choices, and then you must type in type of choices. This will be file, scroll down, click on file, choice source will be indexes, file list state. So that will be essentially what we just uploaded. Now you got that, you can X out and we need one last thing. It will be the text box so that we can see where the link is. Again, it's acting up. And made it really small so i'll just make it big you will actually want to make this kind of long so that you can see the whole link in the appearance we want to click on insert dynamic data finally we need to insert a text field to show the link you click the text visual element button you'll double click you'll click it in there in the white space my computer likes to do it small there so you want to make this bigger anyway and you'll then just click edit me click insert dynamic data and essentially you want the drop down value, drop downs value. So that's this element here, which was named drop down. You want to make sure that this name is the same and then we're done. So what's going to happen is the file is going to end up getting uploaded here in this file manager. And I'm just going to click on preview to show how it works. So you'll click on this to upload a file, get your PDF in there. You'll see that progress bar load. And now you'll have this drop down button. You can then just click at the link and it's going to show up. 
So that's all you need to do. The next part, we'll, we'll parse up this, this file. We'll use a different PDF, but I'll show you, give you all the code you need. We're gonna use Python Anywhere to deploy our own API, and then put some code in that API so that when we upload this PDF and click a button on Bubble, it's gonna execute a bunch of code on the other end. But you can really get creative with this use case, but this is a very simple task at the moment. And you'll be able to do a lot with that. We'll see you on the next video. Cheers.